Another was the avant-garde movement. Avant-garde means the advanced group in any field, especially the visual literacy or musical arts. They often introduce revolutionary ideas and techniques and don't accept the traditional norms of cultural expression or morality. Avant-garde movements centered on the idea of artistic autonomy and independence, such as and including the architectural style of Liberty Palazzino. Some groups of avant-garde artists glorify the condition of being outsider. They rebel against the dominant culture just like the way in which romanticism has been revolting against the classical taste. They rebel against their own middle class origins and wanted to surprise others with spontaneity, creativity, or even to offend by creating a scandal. To some extent, they were attention seekers because they tried so hard to keep themselves in the public eye. One avant-garde homosexual writer, Oscar Wilde, celebrated his individuality and wrote witty dialogues that greatly improved the British comedy. He became a symbol of decadence. Avant-garde musicians, such as French composer Eric Satie, set out a free music from all constraints. His composition, three pieces in the form of a pair, surprised listeners. Some were outraged by his unorthodoxy, but others were amused by its humor. George Pierre, who was a post-impressionist and avant-garde painter, brought innovation to art through his pointillism and technique. In Pierre's most well-known work, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte, the mechanical figures and their separation suggest a social division, isolation, and even the sadness of modern urban life. But if one were to interpret it differently, the painting may also be seen as a portrait of the social cohesion seen through the mix of the bourgeois and workers enjoying a sunny afternoon along the sun. The third movement was Art Nouveau, or New Art. It was an ornamental style of art that could be applied to a variety of things, such as architecture, interior design, jewelry, and even textiles. The purpose of Art Nouveau was to let go of imitative historicism and that dominated much of the 19th century art and design. The purpose of Art Nouveau was to let go of the imitative historicism that dominated much of the 19th century art and design. The movement flourished between about 1890 and 1910 throughout U Europe and the US. William Morris first initiated it in Britain with his floral designs. Some prototype of new art movement also included William Morris's Red House in 1859 and the Peacock Room by James Abbott and McNeil Whistler. Art Nouveau also influenced architecture, seen in the houses and entrance to subway stations that Hector Guimard designed in Paris. Antonio Gaudi's design of parks, apartments, buildings, 